Okay, guys. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Sit tight. It's your boy Dexter Brains Badest from Brains Concept Studios. Today we are going to be doing something very cool, nice, cheesy, and peasy inside of Unreal Engine. Um, you guys already know Unreal Engine is the future, and the future is now. Um, so we will be um, looking at how we can do some cool stuff with lighting. So let's jump into it. This is on real engine. This is an empty level. You know, it's great that it's empty level. Um, so that we can actually do the practice. All right. So where do we start? I guess to begin with, we will have to, uh, um, this is an empty scene. Um, we will have to jump straight into probably just turning off all this lighting. Um, hold on one second. So I'll clear my scene. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and turn off um, everything here. Just turn off everything. From the atmospheric fog to um, a light source to um, sky sphere to even the skylight. I'm going to turn it off so we have pitch black. There you go. There you go. Right there. So I'll go ahead and start bringing my, my place, some of my actors in the scene, bringing this red light. I just love using these red lights, you know, there's some scenes I just like to use them. So I think this is small, so I'll go ahead and just create a 64 um, space for landscape. I'll go ahead, I'll, I'll just turn on the lights, turn on the, the lights so, so you can see. Just so you see, I've created a big landscape. Um, just turn that off. Um, turn, what's the light? Light source, where you at? Ah, oh, there you go, yeah, yeah. go off. So, and then my two red lights, just bring them up above the landscape so we can see them. Space them out a little bit. Space them out a little bit. And, uh, yep, just make one more copy. Uh, make three of them. Um, I don't think I like this one. I'm going to use the select or oh, delete that. I'll use some point lights. Let me see how point lights will look. I'm trying to get something that will actually be punchy and kind of significant so we can see them. But, I don't want that to go for, go, go for the spotlights. Spotlights, yep. Spotlights, spotlights, spotlights. These are good. So I'll just make a um, multiple copies of it. So to, to duplicate, I just hold the R key, just hold the arrow drag. It makes a new copy. So I want to have like eight lights in the scene. So, and do not forget that the objective of this video is just to show um, us how we can use one control to control every um you know everything in the scene rather than going by every single light and you know tweaking the the, the intensity and the detail so we have all of this light so i think i may want to make more copies again so i'm gonna just hold this ones and drag them so we will now have 16 lights no 15 they go add one here then I'll make it 16 lights right now so I'll just keep going ahead so we have this um, 16 lights, I guess. I'm not going in math. I'm not going counting, but I guess this is right. Duh. So now into my content drawer. Ignore these folders. I mean, they're just some crappy things I was doing. Now I just created this new folder called Learn. In here, I'll go ahead and right click, and bring in a blueprint. Um, we'll go and just make it an actor. And you can call it whatever name you like. Call it whatever you like. That's up to you. So. I choose to call it light underscore control. There you go. And the next, I'm gonna double click and uh, open into my blueprint. Sorry, it went onto the other screen, so I'll just drag that and bring it here. Um, now onto this screen, I will go into my construction script, then pull that out. Next, I'll drag this out here, and I'm gonna look for uh, get all actors of class. Just click that, and there you go. Now, what are my actors of class that I want to get? I want to make sure that I'm able to get control of all the spotlights. So just click here and put spotlights, and I click on that, bam! And now, right now, I'm in control of all the spotlights on the, on the planet Earth. <laughs> Fake planets, metaverse, in the, on the inside of Unreal. So now, on the other end, I'll drag out of my, uh, out, uh, out my actors, and I'll look for, uh, for each loop, and then just balance this up to keep a clean workspace, drag the executive plug, plug that in right there, bang! Everything looks clean. Pull that bad boy to the side a little bit and then drag out my array element from there into, um, I want to set um, intensity. So I'll go ahead and just click on set intensity, set intensity, and you can see right, it's setting this on my spotlight component. Click on that bad boy right there, bang, 
and it's like it gives me this, this note. So I pull out my notes, bring them here, and try to keep a clean workspace. Again, I am not a professional in blueprint, so please do not get me wrong. Um, I just drag this and plug that just to make sure that my executive lines go keep going clean. So I right click on this new on this in, uh, new intensity and just promote that to a, to a um, a variable. Shift the variable up here. You see that it actually creates a variable here, um, creates a float. So I'll go ahead and make this visible. Why am I making this visible? I'm going to show you the reason why I'm making this visible down the line. Now let's ride. Now this is my intensity control, so I'm just gonna come ahead and explain again. From here, I connect them to here, get all my actors, connect them bad boys into for each loop right there, then from that, drag that out, bang, into this right here, from there, bring it into set intensity. Now we have our components here, and we have our intensity, which leads from here, I promote that into a variable, and drag that bad boy all the way up there, bang. So at this point, if I go ahead and uh, compile, yes, and I save, all right, I take off this little window so I can get onto my editor. Right now, you see the lights, they're still there, still bright, in the same color looking at us. Now, yeah, going to my content drawer, the moment I drag my light control into my scene, everything goes off. Pew. There you go. It is because the blueprint has come he has, it has come and taken over control. So nothing works without its command. So I go now on to my intensity. This intensity here is the reason why I had to make this guy here variable. Because I wanted to be able to see that. I had, I had to make this, this guy um, public. So I'll be able to see that here in my um, detail panel. So the moment I start pushing these values up, see what's happening this thing, guys. Check that out. Bang, bang. We have the light variable increasing bang so with one control i am able to control every single every single spotlight that is in my scene one control you can see that right there no matter how many there can be two billion of them but i'll be able to control that with that so i can do the same thing for color variation for that i'll just come still into my get each loop drag out the array element type in set color in that component, bang, I bring this out. From then now, I pull out, um, take this guy, put it up here, connect my executive lines, you know, to make sure that the tick is going all across board. Bang, we're in there, log in. Go now into the light color, right click here. I want to promote this as well to a variable. Bang, hiding behind the bad boy. I'll pull this guy from here and bring it up here just to keep my workflow clean, easy peasy and cheesy. And also bring my component factor over here as well. So I have everything looking clean, peasy, easy, and cheesy. All right. So um, at this point, I have my intensity and, um, and the color right here. So I'll call these ones variables. 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 Yeah, man. Just so you know, I'm from Wakanda, though. So keep it easy. So I'll shift this guy um, somewhere here, and I'm gonna double this one. Press the C on the keyboard. Um, gives you this little menu where you can, you know, keep your, you know, name your your, your things and keep them clean. That's a component. Um, I'll shift this component right here. It work is clean. At this point, I'll go ahead and do what. Um, if you look over here, you see that I still do not have the color control activated. Why? this is simply because over here it is still hidden so the moment i click open here to make it public bang it will show up on that side so i'm going to compile bang and i save it so now we see now the color um it's now visible over there so what i do that's done and save that now guess what everything now is dark it's not like the intensity is low nope the intensity is still the same it's just that since we added the color the default was black so it's black so the moment i just Hold it here and start increasing it. You see what happens? The lighting starts starts to brighten up. So I can now control my light. I can now control my intensity. All of them control my color. One can control billions of lights in the scene. And um, I can do this and go ahead and you know bring in uh, spotlights, bring in um, um, point lights. I can even rename my lights and then you know go inside of my uh, script and change everything there. It's, it's just gonna be practical. So I am not a professional when it comes to blueprint I am just to you the basic 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 the most basic beginner you can ever think of in a real 
so that's just who i am i am so right here if you see that because i see i have this one selected if i try to change the value here because i have this just this one still selected it's going to affect just them um because that's still selected here in the thingy so you see i'm changing it's just affecting only them um but again it's 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 that's not how it's supposed to be so i'll just go ahead and do what just go and i uh, just press my control z on my keyboard bring everything back to normal and then look for my um um where's my blueprint i think my blueprint should be hiding somewhere in my scene uh where is my blueprint where is my blueprint so just checking to make sure that everything's working yep that's my blueprint right there so i'm changing the color to see everything's changing as well yeah so that's all for today thank you so much for watching it's your homeboy dexter dexter brains um go ahead and subscribe if if you see it necessary go and follow me on instagram dexter on the screen or dexter underscore brains underscore uh, washington verified dexter brains verified dexter underscore brains underscore verified that's me right there um again thank you for your time and it was nice talking to you goodbye